All right, so enough with the Lenovo crap. I want to give a bit of an update on my uh, 3D printer I got a little while ago for 20 bucks from my local free geek. It's been a fairly consistent little workhorse. I managed to fix it up and it seems to be in full relative working order. I have the parts here for a Cappy figure. Now, as you can see, I have done and modified the, figure, the model a little bit more. I split it up in areas and whatnot to help accommodate the uh, printer and its uh, capabilities. And generally, it's been doing the job just fine. I had a few misprints on uh, the uh, shirt right here, and I think maybe one on the hat. But other than that, it's been printing fairly consistently. Now, I can't remember how far I've actually gone on the uh, original video. But I do want to show what I've done to this printer since I've got it. So, <clears throat> one of the issues this printer has is due to the way the heat, ca the uh, bed heating cable and sense cable are routed. They're actually routed underneath here, and due to that, they'll just bend back and forth over time, and mostly the sense cable will break. So this is a known issue for however long this printer has been around. So I have since fixed the issue. I've resoldered the uh, sense cable and made new. Uh, holy crap, what the fuck? I'm keeping that in. Apparently, I almost fell out of my chair. So, like I was trying to say, I uh, rerouted both the heat bed cable and the sense cable. I also redid the uh, heat bed cable with a new set of cables from a uh, cable, co cable mod cable that I'm not using. And I just routed it like so. I made this little uh, piece right here that holds the cable in place. Routed it like this. Printed off this uh, new side panel that allows the cable to route more cleanly. And that's like the real major issue that was resolved with this printer that I had to fix basically fairly right out of the way, right out of the gate. Another thing I did is I printed off a new uh, cooling, uh, part cooling uh, duct for the uh, printer and whatnot. It seems to have done at least something to the uh, print quality because the uh, the uh, supports seem to come off a little bit more cleanly now. At some point, I do want to swap this out for a, Noctua, a 40 mil Noctua fan and whatnot. That'll also require me to reprint the little shroud again. I'll be doing that probably sometime this month, maybe. I don't know yet. And the only reason why I haven't done it is because the printer's been doing its job completely fine. And currently, I don't see the real need to upgrade to a 40 mil fan other than just reduce some of the fan noise. But also, I do want to upgrade to a 40 mil just because I'll have that little bit more pressure going through the uh, part, through the uh, part cooler, uh, part cooler, so it can cool the parts even better. But again, for a $20 printer that I had to fix up for my local free geek, it's been a nice little workhorse. And hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll have this uh, Cappy model fully reprinted off again, put together, and I'll be able to actually upload the video I've been recording for however long I've been recording it now, which I think is about a week or so. I have no idea how long that video is. I just know it's going to be long. But a certain little update on the printer, it's working basically as intended. It's consistent-ish. And even if it does mess up, I don't really mind because I know what this printer is. I know it's old. I know it's a potato. So it's more of a miracle I'm even able to get it into this state in the first place. And I'm honorably I'm happy with this little $20 printer. This is something I want to keep going for the foreseeable future because, again, I like this stupid little printer.